it just gives a very sim simplistic view of how a purchase order starts and where it ends. So. The teachers present requisitions to the building principals or central office department managers who decide to, to enter purchase orders in an Excel spreadsheet that if they approve them or sign and come over to the business office for review. If they're over four thousand dollars, the superintendent reviews them. If not, I'm the one that just reviews them and I sign all the purchase orders. And then they get entered by a clerical person in our office into our financial proprietary software system with uh, a fixed field that a data entry information can be entered and the account number and the vendor number, and the purchase orders go back to the buildings, and, and some of them get mailed, mailed out, some of them get faxed out, some of them don't even get mailed, they just get held because they're the type of things that are ongoing. And then when bills come in for the items, they go to the department that requested them, the, the building or central office department, who approves the invoice, attaches the purchase order to it, and sends it over to the business office for payment to put on the bill list. That clerical person, the account bill person in the business office, um, enters the invoice numbers and the amount to be liquidated from the encumbrance from the purchase order to prepare the bill list. So the information has already been entered when the person entered the system, financial stuff into the system. A summary report that comes off of our financial software system, which is the bill list for approval for the board. And the reason that the specifics can't be added to the summary report, I believe you said, is because you can only choose one thing, one item. In, in most prepared, proprietary financial software systems, there's a fixed field plan for descriptions. So what's entered is the general description for the object type thing that we're buying. So we can't, oftentimes purchase orders will have 20 different items on them, but they're all maybe supplies, so they get entered as supplies. 